Welcome back to Tame Slayer Info. Now since the Indian Air Force has started looking for a replacement for the Antonov AN-32 transport aircrafts, it has become official that many vendors would try to impress the Indian Air Force with the different types of aircrafts. This video has been uploaded just to share few options which can be reviewed by the Indian Air Force for replacing the AN-32 transport aircrafts in their fleet. If we check the fleet strength of Antonov AN-32 in the Indian Air Force, 125 AN-32 aircrafts were procured initially and currently only 105 are in service. Even though 35 aircrafts have been upgraded with modern avionics equipment, new oxygen systems and improved crew seats, there is a need for replacement for these aircrafts very soon. Before I list down the options which come to my mind, let's quickly do a recap of the RFI which has been floated by the Indian Air Force for medium transport aircrafts. The medium transport aircrafts which would be procured has to be made in India as a joint venture of a foreign company. These medium transport aircrafts should have a payload capacity of 18 to 30 tons and it can either be a turboprop or turbofan powered and it should have the capability to operate on semi-prepared runways. The vendors have to submit the response by March 31st along with a rough estimate of the cost for 40, 60 and 80 aircrafts and they should be ready to start the delivery from the 36th month of the contract signing. So that was a quick recap of the RFI which was floated by the Indian Air Force for finding a proper replacement for Antonov AN-32 transport aircrafts. Now let's begin with the various options which can be considered here. In this video, I'll just stick to the comparison of payload capacity and nothing else. The first option which will come in everyone's mind is the Airbus C-295 which is already being procured by Indian Air Force for replacing the HS-748 aircrafts. As per the requirement mentioned in the RFI, the aircraft should have a payload capacity between 18 to 30 tons and if we see the payload capacity of the Airbus C-295, it's between 7 to 10 tons which is not falling under the requirement of the Indian Air Force. Next aircraft in the list is the Airbus A400M Atlas. The payload capacity of A400M is 37 tons, which is exceeding the requirement mentioned by the Indian Air Force in their RFI. Since Airbus A400M falls between the Boeing C-17 Globemaster and the Lockheed Martin C-130J, this aircraft will outperform the requirement of the Indian Air Force RFI and due to this it won't be considered according to me. Next in the list might be the Lockheed Martin C-130J aircraft. If we take the payload capacity of this aircraft, it is well within the limit which has been specified by the Indian Air Force. It's somewhat between 20 to 23 tons and this is exactly between 18 to 30 tons payload capacity which has been mentioned by the Indian Air Force. Another good thing is that these aircrafts are already available in the Indian Air Force fleet so adding more would be a good option for them. Indian Air Force already operates 12 Lockheed Martin C-130J-30 variants in their fleet and this is indeed a proven aircraft with which the Indian Air Force is already very happy. Next and the last aircraft which comes to my mind is the Embraer C-390 aircraft. If you see the maximum payload capacity of C-390, it would be between 25 to 28 tons which is again within the range expected by the Indian Air Force. Not only that, Embraer has already been trying to start more business in India and giving this chance to this Brazilian company would create more defense relationship between India and Brazil. Also, Indian Air Force would get to operate a new set of aircrafts in their fleet, which is again a good thing to be considered. According to me, either Lockheed Martin C-130J or Embraer C-390 Millennium aircrafts would be the right choice for Indian Air Force in order to replace the Antonov AN-32 aircrafts. Again, this is my personal opinion, so if you have any concerns, please mention the same politely in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tainslade Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.